Um, hello everyone, this is Amit Dan of AmitDan.com. Today I will have another episode of unboxing and review video and I'll open a smartphone gimbal which is Ocean Smart XR. So this gimbal just arrived today and uh, this is specially made for a smartphone. So I'm going to open up and see what's inside and then you know I'll use it for a few days then I'll uh, you know give you my opinion. So the first thing I'm noticing that it doesn't have the manufacturer's name uh, anywhere on the box and that's kind of surprising but you know I'll uh, put the name actually uh, sorry I can just see the name right here but you know I was expecting a big name somewhere so it looks like you know very simple packaging and uh, I believe that's how we spell it or I'm sorry pronounce it Ocean but you know we'll just open it up and see what's inside so I'm going to just uh, open the box right now and so we have a storage pouch product manual and let's take a look what we have here then I'm going to you know look at the gimbal this seems to be working okay so this is just a pouch for the gimbal and it's not actually bad looking and I'll just you know set it aside here and then we have a manual or brochure and looks like this actually looks like a nice you know small manual very cute looking so i'll just you know set it aside here and so here we have the gimbal and let me just you know take it out slowly so remove the gimbal here and then we have a small mini tripod for the support of the gimbal which is right here and then we have power cable which is right here and then we have looks like you know this is to hold on your arm or just kind of like you know to hold uh, attach it to the gimbal so I'll just you know set this aside here and then let's take a quick look at the gimbal so here it how it looks the first thing i'm noticing is that it's very light and small it's it looks like it folds and at this point uh, one thing i can tell you just by holding it that you know it feels really uh, it doesn't feel cheap at all and it feels like a you know well-made product so i'm going to charge this up and learn a few things Hello everyone, I took my time to use the gimbal for a while and this is the second part of the review. So I'm not going to you know go through all the uh, buttons or how to operate the gimbal. Instead of what I'll tell you that you know the one major flaw I found that this gimbal uh, has and only for that reason I wouldn't uh, recommend this gimbal or you know I wouldn't buy uh, the same uh, brand uh, in the future if, if they do not fix it so I have no problem uh, balance balancing the smartphone or uh, you know a smooth footage on the smartphone uh, I'll just you know add a short clip so you can see that you know how it works it works just fine uh, when it needs to uh, give you the smooth uh, video clips uh, attaching to your smartphone there's no problem with that but the problem is that you know you cannot unfold uh, this gimbal so the gimbal is supposed to fold and it will take uh, less uh, space in your backpack or bag uh, you know to give you a compact size but what happens when you fold the gimbal it breaks uh, what I mean by that so let's say I'm going to fold it right here and this part right here comes off so if you take a look here you can see that it's slightly coming off and then later on this part the whole thing comes off and you know the gimbal looks like this so this is a major flaw this gimbal has but it may not come off like you know every time you fold or unfold but it happens and for that reason I'm very uh, afraid to fold this gimbal and I just you know keep it like this way so I don't have to uh, fold but that that's a designing flaw this gimbal has and another negative thing is that it doesn't have any quarter inch uh, thread 
uh, which would come in handy if you're attaching like you know a separate uh, let's say mic or cold shoe or anything so for example if you look at this gimbal then you can see that it has an additional uh, thread so you can like you know attach a cold shoe or a mic or other attachments very easily uh, you don't have to like you know have uh, an extra plate on here but for this it doesn't have anything like this so what you have to do you just need an, a separate place of cold shoe and you have to kind of mount it right here and then here you can put the like you know mic or any other additional piece of equipment you'd like to use as this gimbal so except that um, the gimbal works fine uh, the smoothness is okay but for this default or for this uh, you know uh, issue i wouldn't buy this gimbal and even right now you can see that probably didn't fit properly so i think i need to like you know press it or do something so that's and then again when i kind of fold it you can see that it's not all the way attached to the this base so i'm not going to uh return this i'll just you know keep using it and uh, i'm going to be definitely like you know think twice uh, in the future if i need to buy the same brand It's like another busy restaurant inside. 